from Southeast Asia. As you prepare your next trip to explore some of our nation's vibrant cultures, we'd like to welcome you to learn more about the heritage of beautiful Brunei and Cambodia. Brunei Darussalam is a tiny sultanate in the north of the island of Borneo, located on the shores of the South China Sea, and is surrounded by the Malayan federal states of Sabah and Sarawak. The capital Bandar Seri Begawan is like something from an exotic fantasy. Here, the rivers and the sea are free from pollution, and there's an abundance of fish, rainforests, mangrove, and untamed land, an exotic landscape that each new visitor is eager to experience. Brunei is called the Abode of Peace and also commonly known as Brunei Darussalam. It is a country located on the northeast coast of the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Brunei is the only sovereign state entirely on Borneo. The remainder of the island is divided between Malaysia and Indonesia. Brunei has an area of 5,765 square kilometers. As of 2020, its population was 460,000, of whom about 100,000 live in the capital and largest city, the Bandar Seri Begawan. The climate of Brunei is generally hot and wet throughout the year, governed by the location on the northwest coast of Borneo within the equatorial tropics, and the wind systems of Southeast Asia, which result from the atmospheric pressure distribution over the region as a whole. The government is an absolute monarchy ruled by its sultan and implements a combination of English common law and Sharia law as well as general Islamic practices. Brunei Darussalam is still very much dependent on revenues from crude oil, petroleum products, and natural gas sold largely to Japan, the US, and ASEAN countries to finance its development program. Brunei is the third largest oil producer in Southeast Asia. It is also the fourth largest producer of liquefied natural gas in the world. So Brunei's culture mainly derived from the old Malay world, a territory which covered the Malay archipelago. Brunei's culture is therefore deeply rooted in its Malay origins, which are reflected in the nation's language, architecture, ceremonies, and costumes governing daily life. Though various foreign civilizations have played a role in forming Brunei's rich history, Today, Brunanians are predominantly Malay, though significant Chinese, Indian, and indigenous Brunanians population add to the cultural makeup of Brunei. Malay traditions are Brunei's cultural root, then Islam is its heart. The nation's Malay Islamic monarchy is a uniquely Brunanian blend, combining the best of Malay culture with the teaching of Islam and a mutual respect between ruler and subjects. Early Brunei kingdoms were, were under the cultural, economic, and political influence of larger Hindu and Buddhist kingdom in the Indonesian archipelago. History of architecture in Brunei So the most authentic and oldest form of architecture in Brunei is domestic or home architecture. So the architectural styles change slowly and with no great leaps other than with the introduction of Islam. But well, the greatest change at this time wasn't in style but rather in, stru in structure as most and other Islamic buildings were constructed. Examples of modern architecture in Brunei are First is Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque. It was built in 1958 in Bandar Siri, Bigawan. The royal palace of the Sultan of Brunei is also an architectural masterpiece and is again very symbolic of the local architecture. Next is Jami Asan Hassan al Bulkiya Mosque. It is a mosque in Bandar Siri, Bigawan, Brunei. It is one of the two national mosques the other being Omar Ali Saifuddin. Next is Royal Regala Museum. It is mainly houses the regala of Sultan and the royalty as well as it exhibits related to commemoration of the silver and golden jubilee celebration of Sultan Hassan al Bolkiyar. It was officially opened on September 13, 1992 by the Sultan himself. So next is Malay Technology Museum. So the building was donated by the Royal Dutch Shell Group of Companies in conjunction with the Sultanate's independence in 1984. The museum was officially opened by His Majesty on uh, February 29, 1988. Next is the Istana Nural Iman is the official residence of the Sultan of Brunei. So Hassan al Bolkiah and the seat of Brunei government. Brunei is a land that has almost lost its history while moving into modern times. It is a country that has grown amazingly wealthy 
since its gas has hissed and its oil has sputtered from deep below the ground. The Kingdom of Cambodia is one of the three nations within Indochina, a fertile country with a friendly population that appears to have forgotten its recent dramatic history. The former palaces of the gods have now been transformed into tourist attractions, and regal splendor and shining pagodas indicate that a new era has begun. Cambodia, country on the Indo-Chinese mainland of Southeast Asia. Cambodia is largely a land of plains and great rivers, and lies amid important overland and river trade routes linking China to India and Southeast Asia. The influence of many Asian cultures alongside those of France and the United States can be seen in the capital Phnom Penh, one of a handful of urban centers in the largely rural country. With each new reigning power, the name of the country has changed. Among the other names that have shared the limelight are the Khmer Republic and the People's Republic of Kampuche. Geography Situated on the Indochinese Peninsula, Cambodia is bordered by Thailand and Laos on the north, and Vietnam on the east and south. Cambodia's main geographical features are the low-lying central plain that includes the Tonle Sap, the lower Mekong River, floodplains, and the Besak River, surrounded by mountain ranges to the north, east, in the southwest, and south. Cambodia has a land area of 181,000 square kilometers, about 20% of which is used for agriculture. The sovereign state of Cambodia has a population of over 15 million. Fun fact, more than 50% of the population are below the age of 30. Buddhism is enshrined in the constitution as the official state religion. Cambodia's minority groups include Vietnamese, Chinese, Chams, and Turkey Hill tribes. The capital and the largest city is Phnom Penh, the political, economic, and cultural center of Cambodia. Weather The climate in Cambodia is relatively consistent throughout the country, hot and humid. The country has two seasons, uh, a dry season that lasts from November to May and rain season lasting from June to October. Cambodia has a mixed economic system, self-defined as a planned economy with markets in which the economy includes a variety of freedom combined with centralized economic planning and government regulation. Cambodia's two largest industries are textiles and tourism, while agricultural activities remain the main source of income for many Cambodians living in rural areas. Cambodian's culture had a rich and varied history during back in many centuries and this was heavily influenced by India. The 80% of its population filled with Buddhists and a 1% Christian and the majority of the remaining population follows Islam, Atheism, or Animism. A short history about Cambodia is the Golden Age of Cambodia was between the 9th and 14th century. However, Angkor would eventually collapse after much infighting with its increasingly power neighbors. Many temples from this period, however, still remains today. Scattered throughout Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos, and Vietnam as a reminder of the grandeur of Khmer arts and culture. Cambodia's unparalleled achievements in arts, architectures, music, and dance during this period has been a great influence of many neighboring kingdoms. Now we're going to be tackling about historical architecture or building landmarks that can be found in Cambodia. Cambodia House of Culture. There are many Khmer, Khmer styles that are built in different ways based on hierarchy and purposes. Traditional Khmer houses are built on stumps about above the ground and have a rectangular shape gabled groups and access via stairs. Angkor Wat is located in the northeast of Cambodia and it is known as the largest religious structure in the form of temple complex in the world of land area. The third example of Cambodian architecture is the Angkor Thom. This is the last capital of the Khmer Empire and was the fortified city enclosing residence of priests, officials of the palace, and military as well buildings for the administering the kingdom. These structures were built of woods and have perished, but the remaining stone monuments was indeed the great city as its names imply, Royal Palace of Cambodia. This is a complex of buildings which serve as the royal residence. Its layout of the defensive wall, throne hall, temple of the emerald, buddha, stupas, towering spines, and moral painting. The National Museum of Cambodia is said to be the largest museum of cultural history and is the country's leading historical and archaeological museum. The museum has
houses one of the world's largest collection of Khmer arts, including sculpturals, Khmer ceramics, bronze, and ethnographics objects. Modern architecture. Zana Capital Tower is a 187.3 meter or uh, 615 feet a 39 story building in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. The tower is the second skyscraper in Cambodia. The building was designed by the TFP Farrells. The form of the tower was inspired by a dragon, incorporates Feng Shui and traditional Naga motives. The construction manager and engineer was Aaron. The building has 30 high speed slender lifts, as well as two cone lifts. Central Market, Phnom Penh. It's an Art Deco landmark of Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. The bright yellow building, completed in 1937, has a 36-meter high central dome. With four tall arc roof arms, branching out diagonally across the block, creating vast hallways, housing complex stalls, and a variety of goods. Initially designed by the city architect, Jean de Bois, construction works were supervised by the French architect, Louis Chauchon. When it first opened in 1937, it was said to be the biggest market in Asia. Choctaw Conference Hall the pan-shaped hall is one of the most iconic works of the famous Cambodian architect Van Molivan and opened in 1961. The hall is a designed concrete structure which radiates in a fan shape referencing a palm leaf. Castle Royale is Cambodia's first and luxury living space in the form of an elegant high-rise condominium development located in the heart of the rapidly developing capital and a dedicated 32-story high-rise block containing 400 units. The Royal University of Phnom Penh is a national research university of Cambodia located in Phnom Penh, capital. Established in 1960, it is the country's largest university. Are you excited to hop on a plane and explore these two vibrant ASEAN countries? Whether it be a trip to discover gem and crusted royal history or a journey experiencing the beauty of this country's architecture, we're confident that your vacation to Brunei and Cambodia will be one you'll never forget.